This is a really cool plant. It's Asclepius syriaca. <laughs> Yep, it's Asclepius syriaca. So uh, syriaca means of Syria. Um, it's a, uh, it's not from Syria. Linnaeus goofed on this one, but you know, because he already named it, we have to stick with it. Um, anyway, Asclepius syriaca. So forth. Asclepius just comes is named after the Greek god of medicine and healing. Um, so this is the common milkweed. So it's it's rhizomatic. It's it's got these. So it means it's got these underground stems that'll shoot up new. Um, new individuals. So if you put this in your yard because you know you want monarchs, because it's the host plant for monarchs, amongst other cool insects, um, you, sometimes it takes over. It can, can get pretty aggressive, um, especially with no competition. So maybe not the best of the Sclepias to put in your yard, unless you have a, a big space that you don't mind it filling up in. So the Asclepius syriaca was used uh, quite extensively by Native Americans. Uh, I think the Omaha specifically um, there's records of them taking the shoots as it's coming up kind of like asparagus and boiling them and then eating the flower heads and then the young fruits as well. Uh, the key is, is to boil them because uh, there's, toxin, there's toxins in the whole plant. So you don't just want to chew on it. Um, the sister species, the apocyne and the dog banes uh, are going to be even more toxic. But, uh, but I've, I've read places that if you're going to boil it, maybe do it two to three times to make sure that toxin's out. We don't want anyone getting sick here, you know. So you can see here that the hoods, the hoods are going to be, um, the hoods are going to be all different. Actually, the hoods here, so the petals are draping, the petals are draping, and the petals are almost always pink. Um, one time I saw this weird morph where it was all yellow, everything was yellow, and maybe it was a hybrid, I don't know. Um, but you can see on, uh, this one's kind of fading, but this has kind of a white hoods. Sometimes they can be almost purplish, they can be pink, they come in all different colors, and we'll see that in a second. So these are the hoods, and... Um, so these hoods, they're going to be under five millimeters. These hoods there are going to be under five millimeters. Uh, on something like uh, the Western common um, speciosa, Asclepius speciosa, uh, they're going to be like over 10 millimeters. And I think on uh, purpurescence, the purple milkweed, um, they're going to be, purple milkweeds are like five to 10. And, uh, and this is going to be under five, under five. This one's actually shorter than, this is probably like three or four or something. And then you can see that white column in between, in between there. But so uh, we're talking about some horns and they don't go past the hoods. They stay uh, lower than the hoods. So if you see here these the sepals, the little sepals right there, the little sepals right there. And then you see uh, you see how pubescent these corolla lobes and the corolla again is is the collective petals is the corolla so that's going to be that's going to be hairy pubescent hairy uh on asclepius syriac on something like asclepius purpurescence asclepius purpurescence it's going to be glabrous or hairless okay so the uh the flowers are in an umbel an umbel uh, that's the inflorescence type they're in an umbel and um they usually have auxiliary umbels you know two or three two or three auxiliary umbels um, again, uh, purpurescence uh, usually has one terminal umbel, like here's a terminal umbel here, and then some auxiliary umbels. Um, so uh, it's going to have usually one terminal and maybe one auxiliary, and this is, obviously has more than that. So these leaves are going to have this really uh, dark pink midrib usually, um, the, uh, and it's going to have stalk. See the leaf stalk right there? See the leaf stalk? So the leaves are going to be stalked opposite. They're going to be opposite, unlike some some of our uh, some of our um, our Asclepius are alternate. So they're going to be opposite, and as you can see, the petioles, the underside, the underside is going to be a soft pubescence, soft hairy, soft hairiness. So on uh, on something again like Salivante, which sometimes this gets confused for, um, Salivante is going to be glabrous. It's not going to have hair. It's not going to be hairy. And also the the leaves are going to be um, the leaves are going to be clasping. They're going to be stemless on Salivante, um, and we'll talk about that when we do a video on it a little more in depth. So that's uh, one of the main ways to, to, well, really that hair. If you just feel the hair on the underside of the leaf, you know it's not Salivante. So that rounded base there of the leaf, it's just rounded. 
you know instead of tapering like what we saw on uh what we see on like asclepius exaltata or asclepius um syria uh not this is syriaca asclepius incarnata incarnata is a swamp milkweed exaltata is the poke milkweed um so it's not tapering it's rounded at the base and that's the same with other like purple milkweeds and a bunch of other milkweeds as well uh asclepius so so in summary, Asclepius syriaca, how do you tell this apart from all the other Asclepius? So you're going to have hoods that are under, that are five millimeters or under long. You're going to have uh, rounded, wide, kind of oval leaves. Uh, um, oval is probably not the right word for it. Uh, wide leaves, um, rounded at the base. It's going to have, it's going to have leaf stalks on it. It's going to be a hairy underside of the leaf. Um, it's going to, we're going to have these, these umbels. Uh, these umbels, um, flowers, uh, and the horns also are going to be within the hoods. Remember, the horns are going to be within the hoods. It does have horns too, uh, obviously. And um, yeah, cool. It's a great plant. I mean, the the history of this plant, uh, just the ethnobotany of this plant, is 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 awesome.